Buckle in, everybody. This is just going to be some good pairing. The only thing is, I'm Michael. We need Selena. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? These days, I'm pretty good on the keys anyway, right? I could probably just solo it in. We don't need a pair, do we? Now nah, we'll be all good. Whew. Who's enjoying the conference? Yeah. All right. All right, but let's get out of the conference and into my office. This is where the magic happens. Hey. This must be the new HR girl. Uh, hi, I'm Selena. Selena. Oh, yeah. Is she a designer? I thought I need an actual coder up here. Uh, yeah, welcome to the company. How are you going? I'm Michael Malevsky, senior developer here at Aviato. Well, you know, it's really nice to meet you, and I'm pretty excited to get started, so do you want to fill me in on how things work around here? Well, I'm not sure about people who don't code, but the dev team, we've got a really important stand-up right now. Catch ya. Whoa. He thinks I can't code. Oh, I'm a woman. <laughs> got it. It's probably why he thinks I'm a designer, too. Do you know how many times I've actually been approached as that? Um, and he's a bit up himself, senior developer over there, Michael Mansplainsky. Suppose I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, though. Ah, my card today. To do, list, delete, item. With Selena? Is this a joke? Hang on, are you a dev? Well, you don't look progressive enough to have me as your CTO, so I might as well cut some code, eh? Well, come over here to stand up. How are ya? Whoa, oh, she is a fair handshake there. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, do you, uh, you want to tell me a bit of background on the story? Ooh, this is going to be some serious coding. This is more than just some CSS, honey. Great point. I didn't say anything. Exactly. Let's keep it that way. Um, look, you know what? For this one, I think I may even need Stack Overflow, maybe a bit of ChatGPT to sort this one out. Really? You guys just use React, right? I mean, it sounds like we're just going to need a pretty simple callback function to respond to the delete action. But, you know, maybe we can start with a kickoff uh, to get a bit of background. Kickoff? I mean, when Sam joined the company, he tried to make us more agile, bring story points in, retros, that kind of stuff. But I suppose somebody like you, you would need a kickoff. So, what's there to say? We have a to-do list and we need delete functionality. Why do we need it? To delete the to-dos. Done. I think we kicked off. Let's go. Well, well, hold on, hold on. But why do we need to delete to-dos? What is the purpose? Like, what is the business value here? I think you're going a little bit over your pay grade there. But all you need to know is that this is a React app, and we have a, uh, an item component that has the ability for deletions of those items. And you know what? We're probably going to need a callback function. Back in my day, we used to call them call-after functions. They're kind of two kinds of... Uh, Don't you all just functions. love a good spline? All right. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Come and join me at my machine. All right. So this is where the magic happens, right? This is the code. Uh, all of that. I mean, I wrote all of it. It's great. And uh, let's go. Uh, Are you going to share the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, keep your eyes on the screen and watch the magic happen. It's all good. You'll be fine. And then, uh, yeah, what's going on here? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe run all those tests. Whoa. Huh. Got to fix this test. Ah, oh, OK, cool, cool. Failing test. Right, so it marks a, an item is complete when the toggle complete is called. Yeah, cool. it's a failing test. I think you just cool. want to get into app test JSX. Uh, yeah, yeah, could I just... ID? <clears throat> you do know how to, yeah. Whew. Put your hands together, she knows how to use an ID, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please clap, all right. <laughs> app test, JSX. Okay, can I, can I just have a look at the structure of the code first? Is that I mean, you've seen it, app test, JSX. You do know JSX, right? Yeah. And the test file, test.jsx? 
All right, cool, okay, yeah, well, let's just go with what you want to do. So at test, JSX, so we've got some tests in here. And, yeah, um, line 41, I think. I think line 41, just throw a debugger in. Yeah, but so in this kind of block here, we've got two items. Yeah, cool. we've got two items, but line 41, that's where you need to put the debugger in. Debugger. D. Debugger. Why? E. Debugger. D. E. B. Yeah. Oh, all right. What are, what are we trying to do here? What are you trying to do? Hey, I got it. Why would you put a debugger in there? I think ah, uh, we've set these up the wrong way. The A, B, C's before your one, two, threes, right? So we get those in the other order. You got to get your A, B, C's before your one, two. You do know your A, B, C's, right? That was green, and that was some amazing pairing. Let's uh, add all the things and commit. React to Miami. It's not React to Miami. Ruby Atlanta. Yeah, all right. Let's get that going. And three, two, one. What is that? Is your camera on? Yeah, cameras what? are always on. What the hell? Woo! What? Lol commit, baby. What? Yeah, have you done commit? Lol commit takes a video of our commit for prosperity. I mean, I may even upload this one to my private server. All right, let's have a look. What? There you go. <laughs> Made in Ruby at this Rails Atlanta. Yeah, we'll get that right. All right. Um, you know what? I think it's about, that was some good pairing. Let's go get a coffee. Whoa. Can you believe he was recording me? What a creep. I had no idea and, you know, actually I feel a bit uncomfortable now. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> cool. That's how we work at this company. Uh, here you go. How do you like your coffee? Oh, well, black, please. No yeah. sugar. Cool. You know, I take my coffee very, very seriously. That's how I take it. You're allowed to use that one. It's a good one. Free joke. Very seriously? Okay, it's only a joke. Maybe a bad one. Okay, okay, all right, anyway. So how long have you been here at Aviato? Oh, Aviato, I was one of the first internal developers on this project. Oh, so you're really across the whole code base. Pretty much, well, apart from John, the CTO who hired you. Yeah, John, he's a cool guy. And he's pretty big to, he's, he's known to be pretty big on TDD, right? Oh yeah. So why was it that we started on this code with a failing test? You seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you get on the keys when we get back to the keyboard? Yeah, okay, I'm up for it. Ooh, Jane's phone left unlocked, you beauty. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so somewhere here. Just, yeah, hang on, just before we... Uh, I unlock this. Uh, I think we just need. Yeah, now we're happy. Don't, don't want to miss out on anything, right? Sure, sure, sure. Um, okay. I think it's app test J6, right? What? What? Uh... Okay, well, we want to go over here. All right, cool. So we've got our. All um... oh, right. So what we're going to do is we want to make the. We. W <laughs> I'm so distracted. We. W <laughs> we want to delete our to-dos. So we need a new test because we're all TDD, right? Um, so we've got this describe block here. We've got two items. Cool. Uh, we've got an assertion. It marks the item is complete when the toggle uh, complete is called. We want to do actually a similar assertion. So if we grab that chunk of code and uh, chuck it down there. No, don't do that. Oh. You, don't, you, don't want to, you don't want to do that, no. Oh, okay, I won't do that then. All right. Well, <clears throat> so this whole describe block, like, I mean, I think we're going to end up with something really similar, so I might just start by just Ooh, grabbing a Cut and paste programming. I should have disabled that. Don't do that. Oh. Okay, I, I won't do that. But to be honest with you all, like, I think it's going to be in the same kind of, we need the same context. So let's start writing out a new kind of, um, assertion here. So it uh, removes the item when, whoops, 
remove item is called. And this is gonna be, well this is, you know, we're all React developers here at this conference. So this is gonna be a, an error function. No, 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 don't do that. Well, can, can I just? No, no, look. Do you wanna been... just let me get my thought out? Like, can I, can I have a go? Sure, sure. Cool, so <clears throat> inside of this arrow function, we're gonna have a, a really similar thing to what's up here. Right, except that instead of calling toggle complete. All right, great chat. Look, I know it's your first day and it's a great, uh, great start you've made here, but I think what we actually need to do, we're gonna call a new test here and it removes the item when remove item. Isn't that what I just? Isn't that what I was just writing here? Uh, sorry, is that distracting you? Like we can uh, we can just comment that out. Um, and then I don't know if you're across it, but there are these things arrow functions. I guess six. We're all the rage right now. And then actually, I might just borrow this piece. Is that annoying you? Uh, look, let's just uh, delete that. He's going to copy that. Uh, that better? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then um, we're just gonna do this, but obviously remove item is gonna get called over here, which means one, two, three won't be there. Right? And that's, yeah, that's so calling. Isn't that kind of what I just was writing? No, 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 it's, God, that, was, that was all wrong. This is, this is good now. Whoa, and so this calls remove item. <laughs> this calls remove item, right? So, yep. uh, Remove item, that's a function, right? Yeah, 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 it's passed down as a prop, it's a function, we call it with the brackets, a remove item function. Cool, so what does it do? It removes the item. Yeah, but, but I mean like what, like well, you what is see, it? It's pretty clear, right? Removes item, it removes the item. You get it, right? I mean you can see it right there, it's clear. No, it's a remove no, item function that removes the item. You get it right, you get it, you get it right? You get it, it's a remove item function. You get it, right? Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite getting it. It removes an item. Cool, that's what it does. Let's just leave it at that. Um, but, you know, maybe it'd be easier to see in a different font. You know, I did work with Brad once. He was different font every day of the week. Uh, what are they got? What? Webdings? Oh my God, Kipple, don't save Why that. You better not save that. They do that. Why does this Luckily, never... the editor doesn't actually save it. God, gosh. <laughs> Oi, Times New... Oh, Tarantella. I mean, imagine seeing your code like that. All right. Where's Helvetica? That's a great one. All right. Oh, what else have we got here? Oh, impact. I'd love to see my code have some impact. Yeah. I guess I asked for this, eh? <clears throat> can we run the test now? Ah, Monaco. That was a classic back in 20, 2005. Do you, do you, you think we can run time? the test now? Sorry? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. think we could run the test now? Well, now that we that? understand the method, yeah, let's run the test. So, um, just jump over here. Failing test. Nice. Boom, that's test driven for you. Okay, cool. So, I might, I might jump in here and yeah. write the implementation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, great. So... <clears throat> hey, have you seen that? I think that's the Atlanta Coke Museum with that big bottle cap. What? That's Who pretty is cool. that? Have you been there? No. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's take a selfie. Woo! What? Oh, my God. That's so distracting. What are you, what are you doing? Jenny's not going to be happy. What? Well, that's her phone. This what? is my phone. And you know what? It's about time for, uh, for a run, my lunch run. I think I might go get a burger. Maybe I might go run past that Atlanta museum. See when I get back. <sighs> oh, I cannot believe I just lost it there. Uh, something's not right. I took this job because this company was known to have a strong peering culture. But we just can't seem to gel. It's like this guy's never done a talk with me before. And he doesn't even know how to pair. He doesn't have any manners, slurping tea in my ear. Oh, surprised nobody walked out of the room. And how easily was he distracted by all those fonts? You know, I thought pairing was meant to be about collaboration. But he won't let me see the screen, right? And he's jumping through windows at lightning speed and I have no idea what's going on. Do you know what? I don't think he even knows. 
And then, when I finally get my hands on the keyboard, he either tells me what to do or rips it right out of my hands. And then, he tries to take a selfie with me on someone else's phone. Oh, I don't know how this guy gets anything done. You know, speaking of getting things done, where is he? It's turning out to be a really long lunch. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Woo! Oh, oh, yeah. Woo! So good. Hey. Hey, how are you? We, <laughs> what do you listen to when you go running? Uh, not music like some people. You know what? I love to listen to a good podcast. I was just listening to Brittany, Ruby on Rails podcast, live from the Atlanta conference. Woo! But you know what? Last week, episode 466, was an absolute blast. It was Gemma and Brittany talking about this to this duo of presenters that were talking about pair programming code and conferences. You should check it out, 466. Yeah, link, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because that duo they were talking to, they're like world-famous presenters. They're fucking amazing. Can yeah. I say that on camera? Sorry. <laughs> we could learn a thing or two from them. Episode 466. And if anyone has a blue sky invite, come and see us after the talk. We could give us one. Thank you. <laughs> right. What were we up to? I'm going to write that test, yeah? Uh, we already wrote the test. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, um, let's make it pass, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just like run it again, just to make sure it's running. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Do you want to just? I'm happy to type if you want me to. No. Hey, look. Why, why don't we take a longer lunch break today? No, no, it's it's going well. It's going. Let's get those lines of code pumped out. No, no, come on. <clears throat> We've got a 45 minute slot to fill. We don't have 45 minutes of content. I think uh, a longer lunch break today would be good. You can go finish your uh, lunch, get cleaned up. With, Let's meet back in 15. Elon's looking. Make sure you get those lines of code pumped out. Come on. We need to meet our daily quota. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, I think a, a break would be good. No, we can go. We can keep going. OK, let's be real. To be honest, you eating is very distracting. And like, you're kind of dripping sweat all over me. Oh, shit, right. Um, all right, well, uh, look, um, I'll just go grab a quick shower. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Jody. Yeah. Yeah, first day's great. Oh, well, I mean, actually, you wouldn't believe the guy that I have to code with today. Oh, he must be the world's biggest keyboard hog. And honestly, you should hear this guy explaining callback functions to me. Oh, hey? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not, not my type. <laughs> Like, he came back from his run dripping sweat all over me and burger through his bed. Oh, do you know what? I can see Mr. Noddles on his way back now to tell me how to hang up the phone next. Hey, I better go. But um, would, you, would you just check and see if my old job is still open? <laughs> you know, just in case. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, okay, cool. Chat to you soon. Bye. Hey, I was thinking, you know, me coming back sweaty from my run and... Burger dripping through my beard. That must have made you feel really uncomfortable. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Thanks for acknowledging that. Should we write that test now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. You go for it. Okay, okay, cool. So in here, we've got our failing test. Yeah. Removes the item when remove item is called. Yeah, that's nice. right. You can jump over into the editor here. I might just... Um, yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. We're good, we're good to go. Uh, <laughs> Are you going to cut your toenails next? Toenails? No, come on, Selena, there's a line. We don't cross it. <laughs> but but maybe, th maybe this way I'll get a few less typing errors. Right? Oh, all right, all right, all right. We'll stop, we'll stop there. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's make it happen. Let me just do this thing real quick. Uh, just in case you haven't had enough. Yeah. Good to go. 
All right, cool. So if we go just, well, let's just remember what we're up to. Uh, back over here, where are we? Where's our test? I have no idea. Try this one. This one? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we got that failing test. Whoa, see that Slack notification? Cake time. Let's go. Oh, my God. This guy's so hard to work with. Anyone here work with somebody like this? No? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, there's like a new distraction every two minutes. And, <laughs> and he is disgusting. Like, what kind of person cuts his nails at the desk? That's based on true story. And by the way, even when you're remote, you can still hear you clipping through the... Uh, through the screen share. <laughs> but you know, you know, I'm in America, so I could channel some of that American positivity because he did apologize for sweating on me. That is nice. <laughs> but still, you know, he clearly has very little consideration for others. I bet he's one of those guys who lives in his mother's basement playing computer games, now watching girls fight on the weekend. New girl got lucky, paired up with me today. Whew, I know more than anyone about the code base. But why am I having this pissing contest with her? After all, John did hire her. He hired her to 10x the team. And gee, I don't even know if I'd get hired these days. Maybe I should just back off a little bit, give her a chance. Maybe I may even learn something from her. Hey, here's some cake for you. Whew, this cake's pretty good. Reminds me of the cake birthday cake I had on Saturday when I picked up my son from his birthday friend's birthday party. Oh, you have a son? Yeah, I got four kids. Four kids? Whoa, you must be a busy man. I guess you don't have much time for coding outside of work or travelling the world to speak at conferences then. Yeah, pretty busy, but I do manage to get a hobby project in here or there. Oh, really? Yeah. You working on anything interesting at the moment? Yeah, I'm doing some things with the ABA. The ABA? Is that a framework? No, it's the Australian Breastfeeding Association. They're a volunteer group, and I'm helping vo by volunteering and helping them with their website. Wow, well, that sounds great. I didn't expect that from someone like you. So you're having a pretty cruisy day on a first day, huh? Mm, yeah, it's been a little harder to get started than I thought it would be. Yeah, the architecture on this project's pretty evolved. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's just, you know... Like, even at a high level, it doesn't seem like anyone here can explain the purpose of what we're trying to do. Hmm. Maybe I haven't made it as clear as I thought. You know what? Why don't we go and step back over there to the whiteboard, and maybe I can give you a better run-through. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get back into the um, code. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh. What? He's got girl fights on his computer. I knew it. It's not what you think. A really good friend of mine's a kickboxer and I was just editing a video for her from a fight last weekend. <clears throat> oh, okay, well that's pretty cool. She looks a bit badass. She win? Oh, we can talk about that outside of pairing hours. Let's go. So, you know what? We probably should have started with this whiteboard overview right at the beginning. And if we think about it, our component structure of our to-do list, there's uh, currently, the way it's implemented, we have an app component right from the outside, which renders a new form item and a list of items. Right, and we want to be able to delete an item, so there's probably going to be a button on the item component. Correct. However, it's the app component whose responsibility it is to tell the item list which items to render. Oh, so we need to add a callback... Uh, sorry. <laughs> So we need to add a function to the app component which gets triggered when we click the delete button. I think uh, precisely, right. And in order to call it, we'll have to pass a reference to the function down to the component. I think we're on the same page now. Do you want to have a crack at implementing it? We could try ping pong pairing. Ping pong. I think we've had enough distractions today. Oh, no, ping pong pairing when one person writes the test and the other person writes the implementation and then you swap, like ping pong. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that sounds like a good way to stay focused. Cool. All right. So, um, we've got the... Ah, let's get a few things sorted. I have a spare keyboard and mouse. If we put that over here and move the screen between us, we can both have access and both contribute evenly 
to the code so we can both contribute. It's going to be great. Right, so we've got that failing function there. Um, well, OK, cool. So I can see the screen now. Um, could we just go back into the editor and just up the font a little bit as well? Yeah, we can up the font. Do you want me to change it as well? No. Oh, good call, good I call. We're, I think we're good. <laughs> good, all right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, well, do you want to have a go at um, implementing this one? Yeah, cool. So we've got our test, and it fails. So it removes the item when remove item is called. Nice. Easy as. We get some great indentation going on, but that's right. Um, <clears throat> still not sure. Okay. That was, I think, my... Oh, right, right, I see, I see. Yes. Just, you know, OCD. Um, cool, so it removes the item when remove item is called. At the moment, we're getting a failure over in the terminal because couldn't find the function. So if we go back into our editor here, we have a look at the app itself, and in here we've got this list of items, and what we want to do is we want to pass a function, remove item, down to the list, remove item, and that seems to be, oh, so that's what it does. Oh, I could have shown you the implementation, right. Yeah, okay, I get it now, I get it. You do get it. <laughs> I do get it. Don't yell at me again. Uh, cool, so if we go back into our terminal, boom, it's passing. Yeah. Nice. So it, should we jump into the browser and have a look to see, um, have we even looked at this at all? I don't think so. Should have done that as part of the whiteboarding. All right, well, here's our to-do list, right? And we're like, what do we say? We love React Conf. Oh, wait, we're not at React Conf. Let's delete that one. Can't delete it. There's no, no button. No button. All right, so back over in our editor, we can uh, start writing another test. So we've passed that down to the item component. In our item test, uh, we have this describe block when there's an item, call. Cool. Uh, it checks the checkbox when it's checked. Here, we're going to use some of that cut and paste magic from before because we're going to do a really similar thing. Yeah, it did actually work in the end. Um, and what we're going to do here is say it. Uh, removes. No, what am I doing? It... I think it just calls. Yeah, sure. Remove complete. Calls uh, remove item. Oh, if I can type. When we're not going to check a checkbox, we're probably going to click a button. I think it's a good idea. Cool. And so in here, what we're going to be looking for in the HTML is a button element. Uh, we're going to click it. And then we're going to mock remove item. Hopefully that gets called. If we jump into our terminal now, run those tests again, we've got a failure uh, because this was meant to be run on one node, but there isn't a button there. So ping pong, over to you. Do you want to implement that? Cool. Yeah. So thanks for writing that test. Um, over in, so that was an item test JSX. So we need a button. And as you said, uh, it couldn't find anything it expected to find a node, but it found zero nodes instead. So if, I think first thing we need is in the item. Uh, this is where we have a list item. We probably just want to throw in a button. Uh, that should be enough to make the test uh, do the next thing. So if we go in there and it runs again, we now see that it has managed to click it, but it hasn't removed it. So if we go in here, the button's there. Clicking it does nothing. And if we now go in here, we need to probably on check uh, equals, and then we're going to call our On check or on click? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. So on a, on a click, right. It's good to have a pair. Uh, and then in here, we're going to toggle, no, we're going to use the new function, which remove. is remove item with the ID. And if all goes well, the test passed. That nice. means. Uh, we can go into the browser and press remove, Ooh. and we can sell welcome to Rails Conf Atlanta. Woo! And we could delete that. Well, just a test, we did. Um, listen, that was, that was some great pairing. Uh, you don't mind, let's commit. You don't mind if we do a long commit together? Yeah, let's do it. All I'm right, into that. so I'm going to get uh, cool. all the things. And should we then... do a high five? Yeah, oh, yeah. Should I we think... do a long commit with the crowd? We can do that. Uh, is every, oh, is everyone safe to be in a lull commit? 
Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um, maybe if we get down here, bang, and then, <laughs> do, do I just commit it? Hold, you have to hold it up. I have to hold it up. Because your head's We don't even big. see what happens, but the camera goes on. Watch got for about, the button. We've got about two seconds. Let's go. One, two. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> And we have no idea how long it takes, so. <laughs> and then if you do it, all right, so hang on, hang on. Get it? it gets stuck if you do it too early, but yeah, 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 there we go. Woo! That was some good pairing. Winning! Look, I think it's almost the end of the day, but let's have a quick retro just to see how today's pairing went. Oh, well, you know what? I think that last piece of ping-pong pairing was a huge success. We managed to smash out that feature in no time. Yeah, I agree. And stepping back to draw it all up on the whiteboard got us both onto the same page. There are a few things that didn't go so well, though. Mm, yeah, that was a couple of distractions. But we still, we still managed to get through the day. A couple of distractions. I can think of a lot more than a couple. Um, you playing on your phone switching up the fonts every two minutes, and not to mention you clipping your nails at the desk. Yeah, maybe I should have left that one for home. And you seemed really unfocused when I came back from my run too. Ah, uh, because you were dripping sweat and burger all over me? Do you know what? I definitely think it was more productive to take a longer lunch in that case. <clears throat> well, it did work out for us in the end. But maybe next time we pair, if we just had some sort of guideline to help us get started, then we could be more effective sooner. Right, and the first thing would probably be to sort out ergonomics. Once we both had equal access to the machine, it was much easier for us to both contribute. Uh, yeah, that's a good starting point. Another one might be to eliminate all distractions uh, right from the beginning. Yep, and if we take regular breaks, then there's still plenty of opportunity for things like social media and tea breaks and snacks and personal hygiene outside of pairing focus time. Right, and lastly, no matter how small or simple the work seems to be, talking through it and coming up with a plan early on means you can both focus on coming up with an improved design. And most importantly, we both have an opportunity to contribute our ideas and absolutely 10x our pairing. You don't need much to get started, just a few simple guidelines and an open mind. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. We have been Selena Small and... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And remember to 10x your